This video will go through ways to expedite your form building process through the interface. Upon clicking the Form Builder button from the Forms menu, a new window will be opened that will bring you to the Form Builder home screen. In the Form Builder home screen, a table displays all of the forms that you have access to. So either search or choose one of the options from this list to edit the table. After you've formatted the table to your liking, you then have your actions located on the right hand side. In this list of actions, the first one allows you to copy the form that you're in. The second one will allow you to edit the properties that you currently see in your table. For instance, if I wanted to edit the description, I would click this middle icon for the actions. And the last action allows you to delete the form. The table view is used throughout the form builder. I highly suggest making yourself comfortable with this view as you'll see it multiple times. Before we go any further, let's talk about the menu options that we have at the very top portion of the screen. By clicking the back button, this will bring you back to your iForm Builder control panel. The forms is the default view that we're currently in, which brings you to the form homepage where you can select any of the forms that you've previously created or create a new form. Next to the forms, you'll see where it says option list. If you're looking to get started building your option list before building forms, or if you just want to make some edits to your option list, this is where you'll jump into. And we'll talk about that view later on during this video. If you just come into the screen and you're just looking to quickly open a form, all you have to do is highlight the form that you're looking for and click that row and it'll immediately open the form builder interface. Now let's go ahead and create a brand new form.